Hello everyone. In your music theory workbooks, Unit 16 is about two of the most influential composers of the Baroque era. This lesson is about Johann Sebastian Bach. During a time called the Renaissance era, the church was very rich and powerful. As a result, most of the surviving music from the Renaissance is religious music, or sacred music, written for church services, events, or holidays. Most sacred music is vocal music, with religious text that is sung by soloists and a choir. This period is called the Renaissance, which means rebirth, because people like Galileo, Leonardo da Vinci, and many other inventors, artists, and writers began making significant scientific and philosophical advancements that brought the world into the modern era. More people began to question the divine right and power of the church, and this cultural shift led to an explosion of secular or non-religious art, literature, and music during the Renaissance and in the years to follow. In the Baroque era, continued scientific advancements led to the creation of new and better musical instruments, which set the stage for new instrumental works like sonatas, concertos, and dance suites. Secular music began to flourish in the homes of rich nobility as well as in the theaters that were built for public plays and concerts. Sacred music was still very common during the Baroque era, and composers like Johann Sebastian Bach wrote many hundreds of sacred works for the church. Bach was a German composer whose ingenious use of harmony served as a model for many of the great composers who followed him. He was a virtuoso organist, and when he was 18, he got a job as a church organist and music director. He spent most of his life working for a variety of churches in this role, composing over 300 cantatas and hundreds of other sacred works for his church choirs. Bach wrote a large amount of secular music as well. When he was young, he studied the string works of Corelli and Vivaldi and rewrote them for harpsichord and organ. He also wrote six suites for unaccompanied cello, six sonatas and partitas for unaccompanied violin, four orchestral suites, six Brandenburg concertos, and many other concertos, including his famous double concerto for two violins. Bach had seven children with his first wife, Maria Barbara, and 13 more with his second wife, Anna Magdalena. Half of his 20 children died before reaching adulthood. This was a normal but challenging part of life at that time. Being a kid in the 1700s was difficult, but Bach's ten surviving children still found time to study, do chores, and practice their instruments. Several of his sons, including Johann Christian and Carl Philipp Emanuel, grew up to be respected composers who broke away from the Baroque style and helped establish a new simpler classical style. Now read Lesson 16.1 in your workbook and complete the exercises in the study guide associated with this lesson. In the next lesson, we will look at the life and works of George Friedrich Handel. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.